Hey yo! What's up guys and welcome back to another one. I'm glad you're here. I'm, I'm I'm glad your lovely faces are here to watch my ugly grill try to entertain you for about, I don't know, this video is probably going to be 10 to 15 minutes long. But today, I'm with dad yet again. Oh, where's he at? Right there. And we got a dock there. We have this crazy suspension bridge. We have another dock there. So yeah, I bet you're like, where the heck are you at? We're at one of the biggest public campgrounds that are in my area, and this thing just gets hammered by fishermen. So, in one of my last uh, magnet fishing videos, I had like 10 of you comment down below, and you're like, dude, you need gloves. Please put gloves on. I, I really didn't think, you know, that it was a problem. I didn't even think about having gloves, but sure enough, when I watched the videos back, I was taking my thumb and I was wiping metal and stuff off of my magnet. I could have got poked by a nasty needle or rust. Yada, 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 bad deal. So today, I do have my gloves. Thank you for looking out, guys. It means a lot when you guys drop those comments down below and you're like, dude, go put on some gloves. We don't want to see you get hurt. So, thank you for the uh, suggestion. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for looking out. But real quick, July 4th's coming up, and like I told you guys, the Freedom Shirts, we have all types of American Flag Freedom Design t-shirts. They're all on sale right now. I'll link them all in the description down below. Go check them out. They're on sale. Go pick you one up and support the channel. Well, putting on the old gloves like you guys recommended. I really do appreciate telling me to put on some gloves to, to protect the old hands. So, here we are. One thing about this place is this has been a public campground for like 1920s, early 1900s. It's, it's been a public, public camping place for so long that that's why we're like, man, there's got to be stuff in here. Good stuff. No, well, I just locked, locked onto something. Locked onto something heavy. Wow. Holy, oh man, there's really something there. You can't lift it up. Come put your magnet right here. Try to drop your magnet right beside that. We're gonna see if we can lift whatever this is. <clears throat> see if you can latch onto it. Go right beside my magnet. Each other, oh, look at that. We caught each other's magnet, how cute. Holy crap, dude. No! Oh! Well, don't get your magnet stuck together. Okay. Hey, you got a hook on the bottom of that. Dad got a hook. Oh, boys, we latched on. Don't lose it. What in the heck did we just get? Like, it's uh, it's heavy to not... What is that? Uh-oh. Lawn chair. Oh, yeah. Looky there, <laughs> boys and girls. <laughs> oh, and it's got all kinds of nastiness. Look at that. Look at that. Old lawn chair. That's an old lawn chair, too. That's the old... <laughs> That is an old lawn chair. That was deep in the mud. That's why it was so heavy. Well, you know what? It's not the greatest find ever, but we're getting it out of the water. We're, we're taking nasty stuff. We're getting it out. There we go. Oh, yeah. Luckily, oh, yep. Okay, well, there we go. Good luck so far. Decent luck so far. You got something? I keep thinking I got something, but the the clay is so thick. I think it's the clay binding me up. No, it's... Do what? What the heck? Look at that. A Kershaw. No way. Oh, man, that's on there. Oh, wow. It's got a hook in it. There's an old rusty hook. Oh, be darn. Look at that. Man, that thing's rusty. Doesn't look like it's been in there too long. Look at that. All oh, be dad gum. Look at that. Dad found. If you guys know what a Kershaw is, it's one of the best knives. You can tell it's been in there for a little while, for sure. Huh. Good find. <laughs> Not my multi-tool, but... Yeah, he's been, he's been trying to find a multi-tool. That's what his goal in life my, seems to be bucket list. your bucket list fine as a multi-tool <laughs> yep. well Kershaw I guarantee you that nice probably $80 knife isn't it 
If you guys like the old Kershaw knife, make sure to drop a thumbs up, big old thumbs up for your boy right now because that is one heck of a find, let me tell you what. Kershaws are expensive. Heck, that's a heck of a find. That's better than the that's better than the lawn chair. Just like the lawn chair, just like the knife, guys, that's dad found it right on the edge. We we found both of those items right on the edge, so that's why we're trying to target these really heavy, heavy use docks you know public camping areas uh you, you know you guys seen on one of my last uh, magnet fishing videos uh we went down to the city park uh down way downtown in a little creek just trying to find very very high populations of people using docks you know because that happens just like the kershaw knife you can tell it's probably dark they dropped it and it bounced and boop, there she went but as you can see me and dad are struggling to uh, pick up some of this heavy stuff we're using 300 350 pound pole magnets i think they're 350s i know they're 300 or 350s but um if you guys think i ought to step it up in a magnet pole like go up to a 500 or even a thousand let me know your comments down below and say hey don't use a thousand because it's too strong or yes you should use a thousand because i've used it and you need it so all my magnet fishing experts out there, is a 300 pound, 350 enough, or should I really step it up? Well, we're leaving that dock behind. Latched onto two big things, could not get them up, uh, moved them a little bit. I am gonna come back when I get a, a heavier magnet because uh, that tells me right there that Bob needs a heavier magnet. Well, here's our next dock. It's just like the last one, but a lot smaller. Do people uh, fish this one quite a bit? A lot. A lot? A lot. Dad says it's not deep, which could be good, could be bad. Who knows? Come on, give us something good. See? What was I just saying about beer? That's a really new tab, too. Like, that's, that's fresh. Come on, people. Don't throw your beer tabs in the water come on you found one too look at that look at that that's brand new bush light come on people i'm i'm serious that is the one thing that i find the most of is beer tabs beer tabs bottle caps all that come on people stop throwing your junk in the water We're definitely hooked onto something way out there like way uh, don't come off. Don't don't lose it. Come on, baby. Okay. It's really. I think I got it snag hooked. It's like on. I can't get it off. Look at that. There it is. It came unsnagged right there. Huh. That's weird. That was. I mean. What you got on there? Whoa! Look at that. Spinner bug. Whatever they call these little deals. What are those little? Got a lure. That was a. Uh, huh. Wonder what I was hooked on. Oh no. It might be a rock right there that people got snagged on and I got hooked on that rock. Or a rebar, yeah. But other people have gotten snagged on it and I pulled this off of it. I'm gonna try to get it again. Look at that. First lure of the day, finally. Look at that. Really? Another bait. Wow. There must be I, there must be a bunch of brush or something over there where people are getting snagged. The whole the whole hook's rusted off of it. That's an old guy there. Look at that, bait number two. I found the juice for baits. Well, we're at this dock. It's a little cleaning station dock. I'm gonna try it out, look at this. Oh, yummy, someone's nice, nicely smoked sig. But uh, this is an awesome little cleaning station on the water. See if we can find anything here. See if we can find anything. Look at all that. Look what I just pulled up. The big old sinker. <laughs> A huge sinker, huge sinker, and then what else we got? We got a little bitty spinner bait type blade bait. Looks really old. Oh, that's an old rooster tail. It even has it printed right on there, old rooster tail. And then a piece of junk metal and a awful nail. Ugh. Look at that. Found the screw to someone's. It goes on the reel. Of a, uh. on a of a pole on the reel on the other side of the handle. That's neat. Might pick up a reel. What'd you find? 
Another beer top, an old Bud Light. Bud Light top. That's the third one of the day. Not a bad hook. Yeah, that's not a very old hook. People love using some big old line here. I'm telling you what. What are you people catching out here? Sharks? How you guys liking them gloves? Drop a comment down below and let me know if you appreciate me wearing the old gloves because I do appreciate you guys, you know, trying to keep a boy safe out here. So thank you again. So dad just had a really good idea. This is a drain hole that goes directly down to the water through the dike or through the dock. Good eight inches. Yeah. And uh, he was like, I bet people have dropped a lot of stuff down there. So we're gonna see if we can make it work. Don't touch the edge. Oh, there, yeah. <laughs> Surgery. Yeah, this is like that game, uh, what's it called? Doctor, what's it called? Doctor, you can't Operation. touch the Operation, that's what this is. Oh, there you go, you got it. Bounce it around in there everywhere. See if we can pull in, that was a good idea, Dad. See, these are the things, these are the things. Old Dad, he's got good ideas. There could be pocket knives, anything down there. Somebody's got to drop a multi-tool down through there. Look, you, he, that's all he talks about. He wants a multi-tool. If anybody has a spare multi-tool, you let me know and you can just send it to Dad here so we can shut him up. <laughs> oh, look at that. A uh, screw. Got, got a self-tapping screw. That's what you were after all along. <laughs> Man, I just caught something heavy and it keeps coming off. I think it's stuck in the mud real bad. What did I just get? Look, oh, what the heck? Look at that. What is that? Ew, it's got nasties on it. What in the heck is that, people? Tell me what that is. Cut, drop a comment down below and please tell me what this is. Get it up yet? What in the, no way. Literally, where'd you hook onto that? You hooked onto it all the way out there. Wow, a ball peen ball hammer. Peen hammer. <laughs> <laughs> look at all the nasties on it down low. Oh, it doesn't even look that old. So that looks like new electrical tape. Wow. <laughs> Dad, I'm serious. He's he has been the. I found you know little stuff like sinkers, three lures today. He's found a railroad spike, a multi-tool, a Kershaw knife, and now a freaking ball-peen hammer, which that ball-peen hammer is pretty good. This will probably go and mirror his toolbox. Oh, look at that. Yep, found a, uh, another a Budweiser this time. That's the fourth one. Old Budweiser. It's heavy. It almost feels like an anchor. Dad got a hold of something here. Heavy. Heavy, heavy dragging it in. Do you think you're gonna be able to lift it off the ground? We'll see. Let's see what he got. That knot about a foot from the. Yeah. It's definitely heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's coming up. Here it comes. Whoa, what? And oh, it's oh. an old pump head. An old well pump head. Oh, watch it. Oh, you just got really nasty. You just got that all over your shoes. And on your pants, man. I'm telling you what, look at that. That's an old That's pump old. Look handle. Look at the round part of it. You don't find them like that no more. That was an definitely heavy. That's old. Yeah, that's old. That's about the third third one that's out there. They keep thinking that wow. brick or rock. And I start breaking it. There's a bunch more out there. Wow. There's some weird stuff around this duck. I'm not lying. An old pump, like... It, the, the day wasn't going very good. We found a Kershaw knife and I was like, best find ever. And now this dock has provided some insane finds. I'm, I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Big old leaders, hooks. That hook's not oh, that wow. old. Yeah, someone got snagged in that. Well, that's an old stringer. Mm -hmm. Old stringer. <laughs> we are finding some junk over here. Cleaning it out is what we're doing. <laughs> It's nothing worth much value. I mean, the hammer, at least I can work on something with the hammer, but everything else is just, we're cleaning out this pond for God's you want sakes. This side for a while? No, you, you can stay over there. We're going to let you keep doing your thing. 
this is my second bell that I've that I've caught. An old fishing bell. And you put it on the end of your pole and when you get a bite it goes bling bling. Well, piece of wire. Another beer cap. That one's really old. I'm telling you what, these beer caps are becoming one heck of an issue. What'd you find now? You're the, you're you're the battery. master treasure hunter. Look at this. Duracell yeah. battery. People, do not throw look at that. Acid I think, comes yeah, out the of that. acid come out one end already. Don't throw your batteries. It already exploded, man. Acid going into a fishery. Come on. Back to back. Found another battery. Two different sides of the dock. He's on that side. I'm on this side. Now it's a really old battery. Come on, people. Fish love to eat battery acid, let me tell you. We've just been throwing in the same spots. Keep, keep on finding and finding and finding. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. We're just throwing on the end of this dock. He's throwing out on that side. And we're bringing back. We're, th we're catching everything but the kitchen sink. That's, that's right. Uh oh, dad hooked on to something big. What do you got? What the heck's that? It's an old railroad spike. That's cool. Wow. Seriously, dad is a treasure finder. Let me tell you what. Look at that. Very cool. I don't know where the closest railroad tracks are to here. Yeah, why would this be down there? Maybe they use railroad ties. Are these old railroad ties or something? No, these are two by sixes. Why would that be in there then? Huh, good find. Whew, it's starting to warm up. It's about noon. Me and dad, we've caught way, way, way more than we were originally thinking. Dad was on a hot streak today. Yeah, I, I gotta give it to dad. He caught by far the coolest stuff. Let's check out all of our great finds of the day. I mean, I'm baffled. So honestly, the best find of the day to me is the Kershaw knife. Uh, a lot of you know Kershaw and they are not cheap at all. Uh, runner up would probably be this. And yes, this is extremely cheap and t stuffed with mud. Don't know if it'll work very well. But the thing is with this multi-tool dad, on the way up here, I even told you guys at the beginning of the day, dad was like, I want to find a multi-tool. The railroad spike, which is really neat. And look at this, seriously, look at it. Freaking ball peen hammer, man. Awesome find. The old well head, and then we got the old stringer, my bell, there's my bell. Really good looking bell with a clip on the top to go on your pole. Awesome finds today. I did find a few lures. Those are my first lures I found magnet fishing, so that's pretty special. You were the uh, treasure master today. Marked one of my bucket list off. Dad now has. I got to go to my next one. Right. That that was a bucket list. The old the old uh, allied multi tool. But Dad, he's the one that first told me I needed to magnet fish. He was like, Bob, I watch a lot of magnet fishing videos. You need to try it. And so I think what we're what are we on our fourth or fifth magnet fishing video? And so man, I found that this is so much fun. You guys seem to like it a ton. All of my magnet fishing viewers, all the there is literally a magnet fishing community on YouTube. That's what dad told me. He was like, yo, you'd be shocked to, to know how big the magnet fishing world is on YouTube. And luckily we found some great finds today and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a great time. Thanks for coming, dad. It's a lot good. of fun. This was a good spot. This I'm addicted. One, yeah, he is addicted now for sure. This is a great spot. This was dad's idea on coming out here. He's like, this has to be a good spot. There's been years and years worth of people coming out here fishing, throwing metal into this pond and getting drunk doing it probably like we've seen in all the bottle caps and beer tabs and whatnot. But if you guys like this video, you know what to do. Smash the thumbs up button. It tells me you guys liked it and it helps, it helps me out. So again, all the Freedom t-shirts from Ducks are on sale up until the 4th of July. Go grab you one before the 4th is here. I'm going to quit blabbing. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Thumbs up.